Hi guys, this is Natasha, aka Natty William. Welcome to the Wheel of Time reread. Hi guys, this is Natasha, aka Natty Willie, and I am here with Ray and Christy. Hello. Hey. And welcome to the Wheel of Time reread. It, it literally just went live just right now. All right, so a few months ago, it was announced that the Wheel of Time will be coming to our TV screens. Now, we know that the show is probably years off. I mean, let's be for real. Game of Thrones is still on. They're trying to stretch out their, like, last few seasons by splitting the 13 episodes. Like, I'm not even going to go there with that. But... <laughs> <laughs> um, but then... Everyone will get introduced to Wheel of Time, and I'm really hoping that uh, fans will come to love it as the book lovers have loved it for several years. So, what were you guys, what were your initial thought when it was announced officially that this is really happening? I think we kind of yeah. talked about this before, but I think we're, we need to talk about it again. Like, Are you talking about just... the, like the most recent, or are we talking about the, the, the by Billy Zane's beard? Which, no, that, no, that, no, not that one. When it was officially announced, okay, okay, that it was actually happening. Like this was not a joke. This was not what happened at, like a, like several months ago with that little midnight showing thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, you know, when the we've got that um, site on Facebook um, where shout out, I I started casting everybody according to uh, speaking parts mm -hmm. you know in the eye of the world and the first speaking part is of course Lou Saren and then you know um, Ishmael mm -hmm. so you know somebody turned around and trolled it by casting Billy Zane as Ishmael and I'm like oh god you did not so, actually you know, it, okay it He's a if great that, actor. If but that had not happened, like for real, if that had not happened, that little short still, that we I saw. I still wouldn't. I still wouldn't see Billy Zane as Ishmael. Not as Ishmael. No. Okay. I could. I, I could see him being in other roles, and I would have. I would have no problem with it. Mm -hmm. But not. Not that one. He's not he's, that one. No. And what's sad is that he's a fan of the series. So. Ooh, that makes it even worse. So, I mean, he produced, he helped to produce the, the show and everything. The show that we saw? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> the problem is Billy Zane is a lot like Donald Sutherland in, in, in one respect, and Donald Sutherland has said this in, in an interview before, so I'm, I'm, I'm not defaming him. He would never take, he would I'm, never I'm not defaming him. I mean, yeah, he wouldn't pass down any role. He took any work he could get, no matter what it was, and so consequently, he's got some things out there that are really, really good, and he's got some stuff out there that's just no, junk. really bad. You know, yeah, I mean, that's with any actor, really. I mean, you're gonna work because you're gonna make that money. Like, uh -huh. that's yeah. that's that's completely understandable. And unfortunately, there are gonna be roles that <coughs> just was not a great fit or just the wrong kind of project because the project was just a hot mess to begin with, like F4, like Fantastic Four, this past one that oh, came God. out. Oh, uh -huh. God. That was just horrible. And you know that a lot of the actors that were on there are like normally in good stuff. So oh. it was just, no, no. <laughs> so you know yeah. it's not, it's not, Sometimes it's a hit or miss, so it is what it is. But yeah, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> no, when 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 we saw the announcement that you know that that there had been a resolution and that mm -hmm. that had been sold to you know the the rights had been sold to a major studio, which I I don't know and don't expect to find that one out until everybody else does. Yeah. Um. I I, I have no clue who that is. I wish to God I did. Because then I could pull a semi ray on you, but you, know. <laughs> you already did that to me. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I, I like giving teasers. What can I say? Yeah. You know. But um. Yeah, you know, I was just I, I was relieved that that mm -hmm. there had, that there had been a resolution that was obviously you know satisfactory to all parties involved, and most importantly, it relieved me because I had always been worried that somebody was going to actually try and do these in feature length films mm -hmm. instead of instead of a TV series and mm -hmm. I 
I personally just don't see how you could put them in a feature-length film mode and do 14 major-length films. I mean, even no. if you could, even if you could condense them into you know into 10, that would still be too many. Right. You know? Yeah, I mean, Harry Potter was pushing it with eight, and everyone's yeah. trying to like extend like the last book into two or three movies. I'm like, just no, just stop. just let just, it go, just, man. Just, and, no, and, especially and when gotta, the book is not that long. I mean, come on. Yeah, guys, really? you got to realize they're yeah they're like eight. They're the boys are like 19 or 20 when it starts, and it only you know the the series only takes three years of actual time frame. I mean, everything that happens happens in three, you know, in like three to three and a half years, something like that. Two and a half. Yeah. Two and a Two half, and sorry. Half. Two and a half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so you've got to figure out a way to block this out where whoever ends up getting cast as, you know, Rand, Matt, and Perrin, and, you know, Egwene, Egwene and I mean. Elaine, and, and Avienda, you know, Nynaeve wouldn't be as, as big a deal because she starts off at like 26, so yeah. it, would be, it would be reasonable for her to have aged a little bit, but... Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, you don't change much in how you look between 20 and 23. Mm -hmm. right. You know, you, you just, you don't. So. Well, the good thing, at least with the, the back half of this series, was a lot of the books, uh, some of the books focused on, like, one or two characters versus all of them. But uh -huh. at least uh -huh. on the show, you can focus on all of them. They're, they're each doing their own plot line at the same time, and you can kind of probably wrap it up a lot sooner. Um, yeah, and then there's the 20 pages of how somebody's dress looks that, you know... Exactly, or even just... Yeah, some yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, well, or even just, like, a place, you know, like the palace, yeah. the, you know, just there, all that yeah. other stuff. So much of it will be taken care of with, with the visuals, which, of course, is him being as descriptive as he was is just, like, a gift from God to whoever's going to be handling sets and wardrobes yeah, and Yeah, because all that is just, like, like taking a picture. Yeah, all yeah. they have. Yeah, all they have to do is read it and and recreate what they what they're reading. You know, and then there were a couple of books that were actually um, a, a little short on action and a little long on preparations and mm -hmm. setting things up. Mm -hmm. And you could you could easily condense those. You of know, course. I'm, th I'm thinking they could do this in like maybe six six or seven seasons easy. Yeah. You know, if they do, you know, if if they do like maybe ten between ten and twenty episodes per season, I think they could probably. <laughs> Even, Wait, like, maybe 13. I think 13 would be a good number. Don't you? No. I no. I, I, I need more. My 14, original more. My, my original breakdown, and I realize that this can be condensed because I didn't take into consideration that you could probably fit, you know, not, you know, like, I'm, I'm just going to pick, two, you know, three of the seasons. You could probably fit 8, 9, and 10, you know, books 8, 9, and 10 into, like, one season. But my... Yeah. My original outline when I was thinking about it before anybody did anything that we knew of besides, you know, having my uncle having sold the options a couple of times, you know, was that they would need to break it down where maybe each each book had about 12 hours worth of screen time. So 12 episodes per book, two books per season, 14 books, seven seasons, you know, but you could trim that down some. Mm-hmm. But I like I like the old ser TV series where you had a whole bunch of episodes per season. I kind of feel like I'm getting gypped now when I buy a season for fifty bucks, and right. I'm only getting thirteen episodes. Whereas you know, like when I get a, an old Star Trek and I've got twenty five, you know, mm -hmm. I, I feel like I'm getting more for my money, you know, or um, less, as it were, in this case. Well, yeah, you know, it's diff It's different with things like Firefly, where there are only thirteen episodes. Uh -huh. And where you got something like this, which is, you know, you can do more with it. You don't have to cut it off. But, like, with Eye of the World and The Great Hunt, I'd like to see them in one season, and I'd like to see each one of them get about ten episodes worth of, of screen time. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. I, I think some books, yeah. especially the beginning books, should each get a season. Like, that's... I completely agree with that. Like, I would say the first uh -huh. four books... Book five, Fires of Heaven, should pro I don't know if that could be broken up into two seasons. I was, Maybe because I was, it was... And I have to think also he was doing a lot of descriptive stuff on there anyway, so maybe it could be condensed into one season. Um, I, think one, I think one and two can be combined fairly easily. I think three and four could be combined. Trying to combine five and six will be a little bit difficult, but even with six, 
the only reason why I wasn't upset with the level of prep work, because there, there was a lot of prep in that book, too. Mm -hmm. it, it's just when Six finally took off, it really took off. You know, the, the yeah. ending. And, and I, I totally would love to see Demise Wells as a season finale. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. funny. Um, there was one guy who was reading um, Lord of Chaos for the first time, and he was like halfway through the book, and he was complaining. He's like, "Does this get any better?" And we're all like, "Just wait, <laughs> yeah. just wait, just wait." <laughs> and he's sitting there complaining up until like the last hundred pages, and we're like, "Just wait," and then all of a sudden, you know. At the end, he's yeah, like, he oh, my back. God, I don't believe that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. <laughs> yeah. I, I was a little bit, you know, impatient when I was for reading Lords of Chaos for the first time. You know, it, it, it was. I don't, I think it was about maybe two-thirds of the way through before I finally was like, oh, wow, okay, this is getting good. And, yeah. you know. Then it was just like all of a sudden, boom, you know, it just, it catches like kerosene, you know. Do you think that's been like a, a major thing in the books anyway? Because I've noticed that there's always been like a major battle at the end of each book or just some kind of major um, event um, that happens that has major implications. So, mm -hmm. I, the, on, the only one where the... I mean that that does that, that that is a very common theme it seems with him that you know you you don't always have a whole lot of you know of action in the mm -hmm. middle parts although right. there were a lot of there were a lot of books where you did um, Shadow yeah. Rising yeah. You know, yeah was was real good on that um, Fires of Heaven was real good on that yeah, um, yeah. but yeah there it, it did seem like especially with books six seven eight and nine. It was like he spent a good portion of each of those books setting something up, and then at the end there was something just big and colossal and stupendous, you know, that that happened. The only one where I felt like that didn't happen it was book ten, but I'm not going to get into specifics because you know we're we not there yet. We haven't gotten there yet. We haven't <laughs> we haven't gotten there yet, but you we're know. almost there, guys. We're like a few books <laughs> before. I, all of the prep in that book was necessary, but I felt like the overall end was kind of anticlimactic. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, I think we can all agree on that. He more he more than made up for it though with book eleven. He hit the ground running with with Knife of Dreams and it just didn't stop. Right. Yeah, you know, I I totally rank that one among the probably either the best or second best book of the whole series. As far as as far as what he wrote himself. Okay. So, oh, Lord but, of Chaos, I've got a personal, you know, place in my heart for so. Well, yes, <laughs> because we, 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 yeah, we you don't have to say it. <laughs> <laughs> we we all we all know. Yeah, we we all know. <laughs> so. But um, as far as the TV show, now we have talked about this before, about whether we wanted it live action or animated. And maybe it was before we, we were live, or maybe even during when we were live, whether or not we wanted it animated or, or you know, live action. So I think in a lot of ways it would benefit for it to be animated, but it would take a lot longer for it to be animated. Yes, um, sadly. I am less anti-animation than I used to be, but I am still not at the point where I can say that I'm a huge fan of it. Mm -hmm. I've, I've seen some examples now of some animation movies that, that are good, you know, that I liked. Mm -hmm. I just don't want that for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, and know. I can totally... And I, I, I see that that's a matter of opinion. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. not trying to say that, you know... People who love animation, you know, are in like bad or have bad taste or anything. It, it's just a matter of opinion. And <laughs> I, well, just, I mean, there's benefits to both. I can see benefits to both. I, I can see some difficulties with live action because mm -hmm. of, of because especially because of the way you know the the weaves are described and how you know. But I, I think that that should basically be determined by who's who all is involved with what's going on. Mm -hmm. And whose POV the the scene is supposed to be from, you know, if 
like we don't have Moiraine's POV at first in in um in Eye of the World. It's almost completely them seeing what she does. So we should basically just see her waving her hands and and stuff happening. You know. Right. Later well, on, it's like we we don't have a map point of view until the middle of uh, Dragon Reborn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. So I, I kind of think that, like, you know, because I know that they mentioned in the middle of the fight between Nynaeve and Mogedian that if, if someone who couldn't channel were to walk in, they would, they just, would just see two women staring at each other, sweating and staring intently. You know, right. they, they wouldn't be able to see anything else. I think in that scene, they, they would need to work something out. But, you know, everything else, I think it should just look like it does in Star Wars when they force push and force choke. They just, you know... They move their hands, and, well, you know, that's a force push, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no reason for us to see that's anything gonna... more than fireballs, you know, throwing from Moiraine's hands, you know? That's going to be mostly up to the actors you know, well, you know, well, while they're uh, able to play it. Yeah, well, not know. only that, just the um, when she does the illusion of being taller, like, because everyone else, even though it's it is the power or, you know... Mm -hmm. Sidar, that could be like just you know, it's probably gonna be 3D. I've done. But yeah, it'd be, it'd be com C or yeah, it'd be CG, CG. You know. Yeah. Yeah. They and they've done things like that before with CG. I mean, obviously this will the series will have to be C very CG intensive. You know. Yeah. But but I always I think, have issues with CG. I don't know. <laughs> The CG stuff in the in the prequel series for Star Wars was great. It was the acting and storylines that sucked. That sucked. True. <laughs> yeah. You know. uh, true. But I mean, just some movies like The Hobbit, or just you know, just some stuff just bothers me with CG. And it. I haven't seen The Hobbit. I saw The Lord of the Rings, but I haven't seen the the three Hobbit movies. So. Yeah, I mean, some hey, things. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like some of the magical elements was just like, uh. and maybe I'm thinking of the orcs more than anything because I know that they're CG, and maybe just like Man of Steel, like some of the stuff where things move like really fast, they, it's like they don't even bother. It's like you know that it's CG and only CG. <laughs> uh -huh. But like in the in the Lord of the Rings series, the Urukai, though they you know yes the the huge columns of them had to have been CG, but like when you see the individual ones that they're fighting face to face, those are actual people in costumes. Right. Yeah. It's no, just no, like the no, the no, here. And I know yeah. that they're gonna do that with the trollics. They they're gonna have to do that with the trollics. One thing that I had um, brought up in our casting site on um, Facebook was that, um, and we haven't had the vote for it yet because I've been trying to figure out how to get into it, but um, have one person cast as the Merdral mm -hmm. and just have them play the, you know, a Merdral and when there's more than one, just have them, you know, do the CG, you know, and duplicate it because oh, they on, really, yeah. they don't speak lo a lot, you know, no. and... They're all supposed to look like each other. Pull a Haley Mills slash Lindsay Lohan parent trap kind of thing with the murder. Right. Yeah, that that works. Yeah. Yeah, and then have shade our the hair and do the same thing with the drag car. Yeah, and do shade our hair and completely different. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. he'll be somebody else. He he's got to be like a a murderal on steroids. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. It was funny because we all. Uh, uh, froze at one point. I saw the screen. We all froze. <laughs> we'll see how it goes in the uh -huh. playback, but that's just funny. Um, but as far as the acting, so Christy, we have a we have. There's a group on Facebook where you're doing like the casting. So how many characters have you guys like casted so far? Uh, so actually, a number. We just finished with Bale Doman and. Um, Florin Gelb, and we're up to Elias. Yeah, we're, so, we're just basic, Elias. We're going in order, basically, of... Of speaking parts of, that of speaking are more than parts. five lines. Yeah, so, you know, if they've got a speaking part in the eye of the world, we take them as they show up. You know, sort of like how at the end of a movie they'll say, you know, cast in order of appearance. That's sort right, of how right. we... That, 
that's how we're doing it. Yeah, okay, and the so, only so. the Go only ahead. difference is rather uh, with people that have like one or two lines, we're just leaving them out. Okay. But okay. They, yeah. the the baseline for it is is they have to have at least five speaking lines to be considered as part of the the casting. So there were a lot of like um, two rivers people that got left out, but then there was a lot more that were considered that people are like, "Why are you casting these people?" And it's like, because they've got that many lines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, so but yeah, John Reese Davies just got cast as as Bale Doman, and. Okay. Uh, you know, we if he can pull Gimli, he can pull, you know, Baldom on. And right now they're they're busy on Elias. So, yeah. so who got cast yeah. for Moraine? Uh, Rachel Weisz. Yeah, that's that's who I immediately thought of as playing when, Moraine. Yeah, it, so it was almost a hand down on that. So I, I can well, live with so, that, but my choice is Jodie Foster. Yeah, he really? he's still. <laughs> Ray still disagrees on that one. So, yeah. No, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna riot if it's if it's Rachel Weisz. Now, if Sam Elliott is freaking Tom, then yes, I'm gonna goddamn riot. That that actually yeah. almost brought the site to a standstill because we were like, you know, um, there was Sam Elliott as Tom, and then. Um, Chris Hemsworth as I think it was Rand, and I was like, and I was like, yeah, Thor is I not going to be this. Rand. No, I, I, I can't do this. This is why I was saying that I felt like we were having an issue with with some people trolling it. They, yeah. I, I don't, I don't think they realize that you know where Tom is concerned. Yes, Sam Elliott looks the part to a T. But can you can't. imagine him saying, <laughs> singing. You know, sing, singing in high chant with his Texas drawl? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever yeah. heard Sam Elliott speak where he didn't sound like a Texas like, cowboy or a biker? Yeah. <laughs> which is always no. the kind of which is always the kind of roles he plays is is like you know a, a cowboy, a soldier, mm -hmm. or a biker, and he does it yeah. phenomenally. He's yeah. a wonderful actor. I'm not talking bad about him at all. He no, just, yeah, yeah. He's, he's just, just not Tom. He's just not Tom. Yeah. Yeah, I, and I, I thought I, I my see Patrick Stewart in a wig. <laughs> I, then I was the one who put Ian Anderson up because Which I, can live with that. I can live with that too. Yeah, because you know he can play multiple instruments. You know he can sing. You know he's got that whole gleam and performance down. Mm -hmm. So it's just the whether or not he can act. Yeah, I also had Sean Connery for, for Tom, too. Yeah, it was like, um, <clears throat> where did Sean Connery come from? He just came out of left field, didn't he? <laughs> he I, I feel he looks the part. I feel that he would do the, the, the whole concept of a guy who is obviously very high class, who's having to, to, to lowbrow it mm -hmm. and, you know, to survive. And I know he can sing because he was in... Um, Darby O'Gill and the Little People, and he sang very well for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, I don't know if he plays any instruments, but you know, that, you that's more. That. Of, you, you can fake that. That's more of a bonus if he actually plays. But you mm -hmm. know, it, it's it's not the meat or the potatoes. You know. <laughs> so. Yeah, and of course the the whole flipping thing. I mean, you can do that with anybody. That's the stunt double, like to a T. Well, and and um, Patrick Stewart. You know, definitely seems very spry still for his age. You know, right. mm -hmm. I'm not sure about Sean Connery. It's been a while since I've seen him in anything. He may have aged too much. Actually, to be the age. last thing I heard um, from his uh, camp was that he retired from acting. Yeah. Okay. Well, he he, he may, may have, have let himself go a little bit. Well, I mean, give the guy a break. How old is he? He's got to be at least in his yeah. 70s by now. I know. I think it's closer to 80s. It might have been, you know, but Let me look. <laughs> I I realized that the majority rules, uh, you know, with with these, you know, with with the voting, the casting decisions, 
and mm-hmm. I accept that. But there are just a couple of parts, like the Sam Elliott one, where I just I I, I, I can't. I just can't even. Yeah, I, I he's eighty five. I initially yeah. thought about Sam Elliott, but but that's only because he looks like him so he much. Does. But not, he does. But not so much that yeah. He totally I looks the that. part, but you have to consider that. other. You have to consider other things. Do you really want that guy trying to sing in high chant? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. So you make good points on that. But yeah, the um the Edmund the Edmund. Yeah, the Edmonton Oilers, the Ed, the Emmons Fielders, um, they were all cast as question marks. You know, because yeah. of the the five main, you know, Rand, Matt, Perrin, Egwene, and Nynaeve, um, they were all question marks as unknowns mm-hmm. because nobody wanted to f- try and find somebody that actually might fit the part. Yeah, you know, and they let it go with unknowns. Yeah, with, with Nynev, I could I could tolerate casting someone that was a little bit more experienced, but I actually do agree with that. Unless you're going with a dream cast, saying you know, but you, everybody knows that when everyone knows when you do a dream cast that you're never going to be able to afford everybody that you want in each of the roles. It would be an insane budget. You right. know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I could see I could see casting her as as a at least a somewhat well known actress, but I I agree with the others needing to be. I mean, you can have your pic you can have your picture in your mind of an actress or actor that you think would be good, but in re- when it comes to reality, I, I really hope that they do cast those parts as as unknown. As unknown, yeah. Or even just someone that's been mostly in TV or maybe just starting in TV. Either yeah, I mean, as like a not, small role, or even like in um, by a show unknowns, that maybe, I mean by unknowns. Yeah. I mean they're not famous for anything. You know, yeah. they they can still have been working. I mean, I would I hope mean, they would. Have, I would hope they would have some experience. I've got a cousin who's been acting since he was three years old. So I mean, I can always sit there and say, well, he can be somebody. You know, but. I, does he look like someone? <laughs> Does he look like one of the cats? Actually, he he could well. He's not tall enough to be Rand, but you know, and he's not good looking enough to be the lad. But I mean, <laughs> he's in somebody, between the two. Somebody's could he height. Be, can could be, be Gowan? You would some, hate some, it if he was cast as Gowan. <laughs> yeah, I would hate it. Somebody's height can be manipulated with the camera, though. You can make somebody right. taller. Sorry about the sure. the weird look I just gave. My daughter is have it, my my wife is dyeing my daughter's hair for the first time per her request, and Uh-oh. she just came out part way through the process to show me, and I was just like, <laughs> you know. "What color? What color?" Right now, it doesn't look anything like the color she was going for. She's going for some kind of like an electric blue. Oh, oh cool. Yeah. cool. Yeah. You, you'll just have to show us off air. I, I, like, yeah, I, I, I told, I gave her permission for to do it during the summer because her school doesn't allow you to dye your hair. Gotcha. Yeah, you know, but since it, I told her if you get a semi permanent that'll be out by the end of the summer, you know, go ahead and knock yourself out. So. Cool. Only if she washes it a lot. Yeah, I think she. She washes it every time she ba- every time she bathes. So she's at an age now where I don't go, you know, I don't go in there when she's in the bathtub. So right. she she's hit, now, no. she's hit that age now. She's growing up. So. Aww. <laughs> um, they grow so fast. <laughs> well, we're we're a very you know we're a very open and and non self conscious family when it comes to that. But I told her I said whenever you get to a point where you know you start feeling uncomfortable, you know, and you want more privacy, tell me and it's yours. Yeah. 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 Okay. Back on anyway, topic. back, back on topic. <laughs> back to topic. I, I just I just figured giving a look like I did, I should make sure that everybody knew that it had nothing to do with what either one of you was saying. <laughs> <laughs> and and I guess with the whole dream casting, 
with animation, you can cast anyone, but of course, again, you still have to worry about budget because you're still paying these people to voice act these characters. Right. So, I mean, either way you look it's at it, like one of the, would not work. <laughs> one of the most insanely popular voice actors um, yeah, that most people wouldn't know about unless you already were aware of the fact that he's a voice actor is uh, Mark Hamill. And he does the voice of the Joker in mm -hmm. all of any of uh, the animated stuff. It's Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, doing his voice. Wow. Okay. I didn't yeah, know that. I knew about that. Yeah. And he's absolutely incredible. You would not know that that is, you know, Luke Skywalker talking. And the only reason why I knew it was because I, I saw the making of the Mask of the Phantasm. Mm -hmm. And they sat there and showed him recording the Joker's laugh. And since mm -hmm. then, it's like nobody else, you know, even Heath Ledger, when he played the Joker in The Dark Knight, you know, even he wasn't quite, you know, as Jokery as Mark Hamill, you know, because he established that laugh was, was all him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna, now on my personal casting list. I'm gonna have to try and find some some part for Mark Hamill. <laughs> yeah. Who could he play? I was I was just wondering that, and I could he know, play a Forsaken? Believe it or not, I was I actually had myself thinking. Or maybe he should uh, right off, her right, off, right off the cuff, I was thinking Isam. Mm, no, he has to look like Lamb. Because it says very, very specifically when Nynaeve is in it, it um, looks dream. Like, it looks like Lan's uncle or something like that. Was what cousin. She, was what she said. Cousin, yeah. yeah. I mean, she uh, when she looks at him, it's she's like, you know, she comes out of the dream like, you know, Lan just shot at me. Mm -hmm. So. So, but doesn't um, doesn't he appear differently depending as on as Lord Luke? As, yeah, so maybe, you know, Isam slash Lord Luke, you know, mm -hmm. maybe he could play Luke, you know. Yeah, maybe, Luke, he that, could... That'd be funny, another Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that. It's all different, but still the same, Lord Luke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. That'd be interesting. That's okay. You know, real creepy, really creepy side part, um is if you take um, Arkham Asylum, which is where, you know, um, originally in all the H.P. Lovecraft stuff, that's where all the weird things happen. And then if you go to Batman, that's where all the insane, you know, criminal people go to. Mm -hmm. And then you turn around and you take Mark Hamill, and you remove the M from Mark and the ill from Hamill, you've got... Ark Ham. So you put it together, Arkham, you've got, you know, Mark Hamill. Good grief. Oh, so. Lord. Somebody, <laughs> some, somebody's got too much time put on their some, hands. It put a lot of thought my, my into son, that. My son did that, actually. <laughs> he did that to me, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> so. Oh, goodness. Now, um, what is the guy's name who plays... Uh, Crixus in the Spartacus TV series. Is it Manu, Manu something? Manu, Manu, Manu Bennett. Bennett. Manu Bennett. Robin. Uh, well, see, the he, thing he, with Robin... He's, he's, he's supposed to be darker skinned, kind of like he's from India. And while Manu is not quite that dark, he is darker complexion. My argument with Robin has always been, um, you know, when... Your uncle was writing everything. Anybody who was black or dark skinned, you know, he would use the words, you know, dark skinned or dark this or dark that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he used that with Raven. So I've always assumed that Raven, Eamon Balda, Julian Sander, that they were black because that is the same way the words that he used to describe Tuan. And Semarag, for that matter. So, yeah, yeah. Semarag, is Semarag, Semarag is definitely very dark. Tuan is definitely very dark. 
I had to re I had to go back where Eamon Valda was concerned because you pointed that out and you were right. Same way with uh, Alana Mosvani. You know, right. I I had with Alana I had totally missed the dark skinned aspect of it. But yeah, you know, me too. I oh, I right. checked and you were right. And there there <laughs> is there is a very unfortunate tendency that people have had to pat you are right to pass over those descriptions and you know. It, instead of hashtag Oscars all white, it'll be hashtag Wheel of Time all white, and I don't want that. Right. You know? But another point um, with Ravin is that he's supposed to be to men what Land Fair is to women. I mean, she's supposed to be the ultimate woman. She walks in the room, everybody's mouth goes dry. You know, I picked, even I picked Manu because of all the women I know who would like to drop one <laughs> wing and run in a circle around him. To me, I, he <laughs> Manu a, is a good-looking he, man. He, <laughs> that he, and see, he's not attractive to me, so, I mean, it doesn't... Okay. Yeah, but, I, I, um, I, I can't tell you the number of women that, you know, that, I've, that I have heard tell me that they thought that Manu was just like absolutely to freaking die for that they would you know you know please can I bury your children kind of thing <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm not see, like Glenn Fair um, even in Gwen had when she encountered her um, after chasing after Elf in the the tower when she encountered Glenn Fair she sat there and she said that she was given the feeling of um, being absolutely um, inferior to her, that she was just the most incredible woman in the world. And that's the same feeling that, you know, Ravenna is supposed to inspire, you know, and I just, I don't look at Manu Bennett, especially with the scars and everything he's got now, and see him as somebody that you're the just going to go... The oh. scars that he had in um, in Spartacus weren't uh, prosthetically added. No, he's got real scars. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, he's got the real scars that gets his. I mean, they can use makeup to cover it up and everything. But oh, another one from Spartacus, I forget his name. Where they would have to add some inches to him because he's only five ten. But I would love to see. You know, one of my three picks for Lan is the guy who played Gannicus. Oh, 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 Dustin Clare. Woo. Yeah, yeah, oh, Dustin Lord. Clare. Add you know, add a, a few inches to him, you know, with but, the camera. And... Okay, as far as fighting, yes, but as far as ruggedness, no, he's not rugged. I, he's pretty, he, but he's he's not he as looked, rugged though. Well, but Lan was supposed to be a guy who looks pretty when he was younger, and then became hard and rugged as stone, and. Considering we're a few years out and I'm giving him a chance to age a little bit, <laughs> I, I, I figured, you know, that, I mean, he, he's, he's like a wine. Give him some time to age. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have met Dustin Clare in person, and, yeah, he's, he's awesome in person. Just, just he's, so uh, he's, he's, he's an Aussie, right? Yeah. Yeah, I thought What so. you should do is find out if he's got a cousin or, you know, a brother or something that, you know, looks kind of like them. They can age together and be, you know, Lan and Isa. Kind of like Patrick Swayze had a brother who was an actor, but he never, you know, did end up amounting to much. Yeah. Really? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's got a brother who who looks much more, I mean, you can tell they're brothers, but you can also tell that he got the unfortunate end of the gene pool. Oh. You know, Instead of you know Patrick Swayze being the guy that you know, again every you know women were dropping one wing and running in a circle about you know over him. Okay, of course I was younger when Patrick Swayze came on the scene, and I'm like, yeah, he's cute and all, but I wasn't like gushing over him, even well, though yeah, he was I'm... a great dancer. And later when I when I saw him on Roadhouse, he was like awesome as a fighter. So I was like, oh okay, you're cool. Uh -huh. But as Patrick far as like heart throb, I'm like, no. He was pretty. He was pretty <laughs> short too. Yeah, if I'm remembering correctly, but um, yeah, it's, it's Don Swayze thing. was his brother, or Carl's. Yeah, he yeah. went by either name it was Don it or. Was, um, my other two picks for Lan were either Eric Bana or uh, Adrian Paul. Ooh, Adrian Paul from Highlander. Now, but both, but he isn't them, Lan all... kind of like brown hair versus dark hair though. 
Well, he, well, he's he got. He has to. It's dark hair with with some with some gray coming in. Yeah, he's got okay. gray in the the temples. And Adrian okay. Paul, Adrian Paul has aged now, but we know. Yeah, the reason that I was looking at both um, Adrian Paul and Eric Bana is, you know, obviously we we both know that they can do the cor the other you know, sword choreography very well because they've mm -hmm. they've both done it before. Mm -hmm. um, Dustin Adrian Clare Paul, is that sort of our yeah. Yeah. yeah, Dustin Clare as well, obviously with Gannicus. <laughs> you know, but um, they either all three of them would need blue contacts because Land's supposed to be blue eyed, and that's supposed to be uh, like it's supposed to be very obvious blue eyes that right. are part that are just they're they're a, a crucial part. But I mean that's contacts, you know. But um, Adrian Paul, is, before he was an actor, was actually a choreographer and a dancer. So since the sword fights have always been described as being very dance-like, mm -hmm. you know, obviously the battle court fights are, are just cut, hack, slash. But, mm -hmm. you know, the, the duels are supposed to look like an art. What you know? really made me sad was that um, Bob Anderson died, you know, a few years back, and um, he was... Hollywood's blade master, basically. Um, he actually said that um, Viggo Mortensen was his best student. And yeah, see, the problem is most of the sword stuff in Lord of the Rings was just cut, hack, slash. You know, I you didn't really see anything that I would have classified as being a pretty, you know, the dance, da a dance like what it's supposed yeah. to be in. Yeah, well, so. there wasn't a lot of it, it. wasn't a lot of dueling either. It was more, yeah. you know, you were going for the the big ugly monsters. I, I I said that to say this that I have because of that I haven't seen enough of Viggo Mortensen. But like when I when I see the the duels that Dustin Clare did as Gannicus and mm -hmm. that Adrian Paul did as Duncan McLeod and that Eric Bana did especially. Um, in, in, Troy. Uh, in Troy against Brad Pitt, you could tell by what you were looking at that you were watching two masters going at it. Right. Mm -hmm. in, in every single one of them. And well, if, that's what I liked. Do you have the, the extended versions of Lord of the Rings? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, watch I, the, the end part of The Fellowship where he's, um, where Vigo is getting ready to go off as um, Aragorn to fight all the Urukai by himself. Mm -hmm. When he sits there and first he, you know, salutes them with his sword and then he starts fighting with them. He did that whole thing with a broken finger. Wow. So. Oh, I'm, I'm not trying to doubt that he's he's hardcore actor. I mean... You know, and even hardcore. That I mean, that's not just hardcore for an actor. That's just hardcore because I've I've had broken fingers. I you know, I I played the last half of a football season in high school with you know, one of my knuckles broken. You know, so I mean, I, I I'm aware that's that's hardcore. It sucks. Yeah, you know, but um, I'm not I'm not trying to slam Vigo Mortensen. I'm not trying no, to say that he didn't do well. I'm just saying I haven't seen enough to be able to judge whether he could do. What I'm, what I'm looking for. More right. like the duels versus the hack and slash. Exactly, well, because I'm, I'm going to say it flat out. Just because you can do the hack and slash doesn't mean you can do mean the duels. You can do them, right? But if you, but if you can do the duels, you can do the hack and slash. Right, and see, and that's what I was trying to say with um, Bob Anderson was that he, I mean, he trained Arrow Flynn. you know, and uh -huh. every other Hollywood sword buckler, you know. Throughout history, I mean, if you watch the the Star Wars, Sorry, if you I, watch, love, I love Errol Flynn movies. They're cheesy as hell, <laughs> but I, I've always loved Errol Flynn. But if you watch um, Star Wars, you know when they have the the fight between Obi Wan and uh, Darth Vader in A New Hope, that's mm -hmm. actually Bob Anderson in the suit that is fighting Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh -huh. so he so he he trained everybody that was anybody when it came to sword fighting. Yeah. So who who was the guy that ended up try he was uh he ended up playing Darth Maul because he no oh, matter Ray how Park. Much, 
Yeah, wasn't it he was originally supposed to train the guy who was going to be Darth Maul, and then it was just he was so freaking awesome, they said, all right, fine, you're Darth Maul? Yeah, and then yeah. got stuck with a five-minute cameo. Oh, yeah. gosh, Darth Maul was so underutilized. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, God, he had that awesome he, fight scene, and then, like, they killed him. I'm like, freaking yeah. A. Yeah, and that's I, why I guess they had him live in the cartoon. <laughs> yeah, and actually, they, they uh, um, made him into a cyborg. Yeah. They sewed, like, his top yeah, half onto his, uh, the, onto the legs. Like, like, yeah, to, like, droid legs or something. He, he had right. managed, he'd been hooked up somehow to some kind of, like, a spider body at first, and then, right. you know, and uh, this was this was in um, the Clone Wars series. Okay. You know, I, 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 I saw bits and pieces of it when my son was watching it. So, what's the guy's but name what's again? what's sad is that Nick's, too. What's the guy's name that did Darth Maul again? Uh, Ray, Ray Park. Park. Ray Park? Yeah. He um, played Toad in... Um, X-Men. X-Men. Okay. So, I mean, he's good at... He's good at... Um, martial arts. Well, you know, I'm, I'm looking at, at pictures of him right now on my phone, and... Give him some blue contacts, and I mean, he could probably look the part of Lan all right too. Yeah, I, he's I, really I small. Oh, he's really small. He's yeah, really he's not small. Tall, I like it all. <laughs> I mean, okay, he's great, but I'm just yeah, he's not that tall. <laughs> gotcha. I, I, like, I, I, I didn't like, know. Like even with like special, even with like boots, he wouldn't be tall enough. No. Nah. So. He's five. Kind of he's, he's five. He's 5'10". He's the same height as Justin Clare. Hey there. Okay. Maybe I haven't seen him in a while. He was at Awesome Con, but I didn't even see him. Darn it. Oh, Google well. is your friend. <laughs> Google is your friend. All I had to do was type in how tall is Ray Park. And <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I know. I, I don't know. It seemed like when I when I met him, maybe because he was sitting down, he didn't seem that tall, but that's just me. Yeah, but yeah Ray Park's 5'10". Uh, is it Justin or Dustin Clare? Dustin Clare. Dustin with a D. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dustin Claire's five ten is, <laughs> is five ten as well. So. Yeah. That's why I, I was Dustin's saying. Taller that, than me. Yeah. That's why I was saying since Lane is supposed to be like at least six feet. You know. He's supposed to be as uh, he's supposed to be as tall as as Rand is. I thought. Okay. I thought he was supposed to be just a little bit shorter. Or is it? No. The, he's a, he's as tall as Rand is. He's just okay. um. Rand's got the, more breadth of shoulder. Okay, that was it. That was going to be my question. It was like, is he just more, you know, not quite as broad in the shoulders as Rand? Yeah. Okay. So we're talking 6'6". Six, six. Rand was 6'6"? Six, six? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. 5'10 is not going to cut it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if, if you can add three inches believably, I'm sure you can add five or six or seven if you needed to. Well, well, you know, I, I doubt that they're gonna make them literally six six. Like you can, there. Yeah. I don't. I don't think they will either. So it's yeah. probably gonna be more like six foot. So maybe you could get away with that if you need. Yeah, to. Yeah. If, if you're just gonna try, <laughs> if, if you're just gonna go for the proportion, you know, in in relation to specific characters. Yeah. You now, who I'd like to see Ray Park play, especially mm -hmm. now that I know he's not as short as I thought he was. Yeah. Because you know, without the makeup on and everything like that, he would make a great cool it in. Wow! If you get, I mean, if you put the the red cool. hair, because I yeah. mean, it's cl it's close to his his natural coloring anyway. Yeah. So, but if you if you're dropping the eye down to to six feet, you know, it's gonna be you know pale skin with red hair. You know, and you know, with just the acting he did as, um, uh-oh, she's come out with the rest of the hair. <laughs> <laughs> See that? <laughs> yeah. Expression. <laughs> <laughs> They're growing I, I, up, Ray. They're growing up. <laughs> Tamlin, don't climb on the half wall, son. Uh, okay. <laughs> It's always interesting uh, in your house, Ray. <laughs> you want to come say hi? Hi, Tamlin. Big. He is getting so big. Yep. Oh, up we go. Hi, Tamlin. Hi. 
back on the house. Huh? No. I'm back on the house. Now they're in their houses. Yeah. Oh. Sing, we didn't start the fire. Huh? Sing, we didn't start the fire. He knows more of Captain Jack. Oh, okay. Sing uh, Captain okay. Jack. You sing Captain Jack? Oh, can that's her hair. Okay. Can you can you sing Captain Jack into the microphone? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, go play. He's so cute. He is adorable. Yeah, it's it yeah, you know, he's got good taste in music. He likes Billy Joel. So. <laughs> What can you do? Hi, Moira. But yeah, he, he'll repeat it over and over. Captain Jack will get you high tonight, take you to your special island. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> that is hilarious. Pe people hear him sing it, and then they, they at first they, they, they do a double take. It's like, wait a minute, what? Did he? Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> And as soon as anybody notices it, he'll look at them and say, I'm Tamlin the rock star. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, kids are adorable. <laughs> yeah, when you, don't wanna, adorable. <laughs> when, when, you, when you don't want to smack them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, Ray Park could be a, a, a cool it in. Because, you know what, they... they, they since I mean, without the to, fighting. Yeah, with with the fact that it happened off screen, like I would love to see Matt go against Kooladin. <laughs> so I'm like, that's yeah, a lot of that's, yeah <laughs> that's that's one that did that we didn't see on screen that we better by God see something. In, I want to see in, something in the TV. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't want to just see something. I want to see the whole. And yeah, I want to see yeah. a real fight. Come on, man. Yeah, I, I want to, I want to see it when, when Matt Sashandarai takes his head off. I, yeah. I want to, I want to see that. I, yeah. I want to, I want to see blood spurting out of the stump of his <laughs> neck and his head rolling on the ground. By God. Well, that can only happen probably like on a cable channel. So it'll probably be like HBO that's, Star. Well, that's what, well, that's what I, we're hoping for. That, that's yeah. what we're hoping for because or, or even you know, uh, TNT or USA because they they to a degree they can show Blood and Gore a little bit. Um, uh, there are some, there are some people like that, at There are some people that disagree with me on this, but I because just about all of the nudity that we see in the books are of a non-sexual nature because you know you can't say there's anything sexual at all about. The Cheyenne the or the Bats tent. or the Sweat Tents or anything like that. And call me obnoxious and wanting to throw things in people's faces if you want to. That's fine. I'll take the label. But I really want to push the idea of the body being the body and not necessarily a sexual object. So I, right. want, them to be, I want them to be able to show that nudity. Of all yeah. sizes. Without it, you know, it not doesn't Not just make women. Sense. Not just women. Not, not just women. No, the guys are going to have to deal with the fact that in Byerlon, every single you know, Rand, Matt, and Perrin and Lan are all butt naked in you know in, in the bathroom, and you ladies can just you know have a feast of the eyes right there. <laughs> <You know. laughs> well, considering how young they are, that'd be kind of weird. So, <laughs> Lan maybe, but they're, but they're twenty years old. Okay. I'm okay, it went, might be weird for me. Yeah, I will feel like a cougar. <laughs> I'm older than you are. You can't, you can't be a cougar till you're over 40, and even if you are over 40, you have to realize that cougars are hot. That's not I'm the looking, point. I'm, I'm, looking forward to my, I'm looking forward to my wife turning 40 next year. I've never been with her before. <laughs> Gosh, I can't. But I'm just saying, like, I would feel like someone a lot older than, you know, I don't know. It would just feel like I'm cradle robbing or something, looking at a 20 year old. But like Lan, of course, yes, by all means, show me your nakedness. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh well, you'll have but, to see their but, nakedness at some point because you know when yeah. when when you know there there's a scene where where you know Rand comes on you know Matt and a certain someone after they've done a certain something and they're both Melandra. 
Yeah. No, I, well, eat Melandra, but I was thinking later on. That's why I wasn't giving any more specifics. But, you know. He caught them? No, he he only walked in on them. Um, or it was right Fort, after the. Fort, uh, Fort Chihuahua. In the garden. They were both oh, butt-ass yeah, naked. Oh, yeah, that too. So they were both butt-ass naked. <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought you were talking about when he was going on with Melendra and um, the dark hounds had come and chewed through the door. No, Because everybody talking. saw that. Yeah, well, you got that too, but I was also thinking about when, when right before Rand was heading to Marilor, so, which doesn't give right. anything away from the, you know, from the plot line, so I can say that. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, there, there's a lot of nudity that is just not described in great detail. I mean, you know. But it is just there. Like, but, it yeah. is, but it is there, and in some instances, like the Aeels, you know, feel, the Aeel feeling like, you know, the shyness of wetlanders is weird. You can't really have that without showing them naked. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. You know, so. Or like like things after like uh, demise wells when they don't have an, uh, any Gaishin robes for the. Right. They're uh, naked. Uh, yeah. Shed, yeah. The shadow. You, you, you've got to be expecting the fact that you're going to see a lot of man button man button man junk you know hanging around at that point and. Just, and they know. go running up to people like Perrin and everything on purpose just to make them blush and stuff. Yeah. yeah. That that was hilarious. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> and when they realized that he was even more embarrassed by the by the naked women being sent up, they were always sending the naked women up instead of the men. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you gotta love IEL humor. Yeah, oh, it's it's oh, it's great. It's great. Yeah. Well, of course, I, I've always imagined that you as more um, Native American or American Indian or even just... They're cultured, certainly. Yeah. I, I, um, yeah. I've, I've always viewed them as a bunch of Irish slash Scottish people who fight like Zulus. Native Americans. <laughs> who have social... They, they fight like Zulus, have social customs and interactions of Native Americans, and sound like Serbians when they talk. Okay. All right. I, I put it one their, way. Their accent. Their accent's supposed to be like Serbo-Croatian. I sat there and um, one time was talking to somebody about it and mentioned, you know, you know, no pun intended, but they're a lot like um, ancient Gauls. Mm. Yeah, and, and somebody sitting there going, "You didn't just do that." And I'm like, "Well, I didn't <laughs> mean for it to be, you know, that." I mean, there was a group society called the Gauls, and it's not my fault that he named one after him. The Gauls were actually Celts. A lot of people don't realize that. Yeah. So that mm -hmm. goes for the the whole red and blonde hair and blue eyes and everything. And they painted themselves blue like the Scots do, you know, did before they would go into battle. Right. So. so. But yeah, but anyway. it, I, that's why I've always told everybody who tried to say that there's not enough sex in Wheel of Time for HBO to want to do it, and I'm like, but if you Obviously. if you simply show what's there, there's going to be enough skin to meet HBO's desires where that's concerned. Yeah. yeah. Most of it may not be in a sexual nature, but, you know, as, yeah, long, as, as long as they've got their TNA quotient, they should be happy. Yeah. yeah, and they don't have to uh, show super graphic sex scenes either. I mean, they could just show no, enough. No, they don't. I, I hope they don't. I no, hope they, I, I hope they don't I'm, either. I'm, I'm not looking for something like the way they did Spartacus. I don't, I, you know, that would... That no, would be, no. That, 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 was, that was cool for Spartacus. It worked for Spartacus. I, I liked it. it. It's not for... No, <laughs> no. But the nudity, no. The, where, the, the blatant nudity in Spartacus, yes, because that's like the IU and the Shinar yeah, when they do the bath exactly. and stuff. Exactly. Like when but they're the in the sex, baths and no. stuff. Yeah. No, the no. sex no. <laughs> no. The the scene with Avienda and Rand in the snow needs to cut out when she says she's not gonna run anymore. And then it needs to fade to afterwards. Because actually that's exactly what it does in the book. Exactly. That one needs to stay exactly the way it is in the book. I the problem is with people who think that because I want to see the nudity that I'm wanting to sexualize it. No, I want the human body. 
Right. Leave, leave the sex quotient exactly as it was in the books. Mm-hmm. You know, show what he shows, pan out, and you know, or fade, you know, fade out, and then go back into the next scene where we see them, where everything's you know all done. It it can be the sex needs to be more like the fifties. It reeked of sexuality. Everybody knew what was going on. Everyone knew what happened when the camera faded out, mm-hmm. and you know they knew what had just happened when they went back in, and everything was obviously over. The only yeah. thing that that would be a hindrance on would be the chosen, because like Grendel with all of her pets, you know. Are they, um, are they, actu- are they actually having sex? They're actual. They uh, all the different ones are doing actual sexual acts. Like she's got one moment where she goes to the meeting with Raven, uh, Samael, and Lanfair, and she's sitting on a chair of people that are actually having sex. They'd have I to didn't be able get to... that. I I thought they were just as a chair. Yeah. No, just, they were. I, they I, were I, actually I, performing. I thought they were just na- I, th- I knew they were naked, but I thought they were just contorting themselves into various poses. Right. Yeah, uh, that was one thing that um, Mo Gideon had- made a point of of uh, saying was that you know well, um, naive it, mate. Sorry. I was just gonna say if if they are having sex in the books, you know, at that point, then maybe they could either work on the camera angle so that you could tell that they were having sex, but that you weren't actually seeing their junk. Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, they can. I mean, they're they've there are sex scenes that are, that are like they're doing the act, but you can't really see much. Yeah. Exactly. Right. I just don't want an anatomy lesson in in regards to, to sex with this series. That's right. You know, yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I, I'm not looking for any kind of soft core porn here. <laughs> yeah. Know? No. We, we don't need soft core porn with Wheel of Time. No. No. <laughs> no. And I, I don't think my uncle would have wanted that at all. No. no. So, I think we I think we can all agree on that. I think it's just the nudity, you know, content that people debate about, you know. Yeah. Or I think that because it's just something I I feel like they they don't even notice it and that he did a great job of that the fact that they don't notice it and it's not a big deal even mm-hmm. though he even though he does talk about it fairly frequently. Mhm. You know, mm-hmm. but if you act, if you actually put just because he's not sitting there describing every inch of a naked body the way he does every inch of a woman's dress, right. you know, doesn't that, mean that it's not there. It, it, yeah, yeah, it doesn't mean it's not there. So, but anyway, oh yeah, you know, we can move <laughs> on from the TNA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna have to end it on that note because Game of Thrones is about to come on, so <laughs> yeah. we may have to do a okay. part two of this discussion, and maybe hopefully Jason and Saba can join us with with you know their thoughts on um, the TV show. That's probably gonna be a few years away. Or probably, probably would be that'd be my guess. Yeah. But at least we can be we can bask in the joy that we know that it, is coming. <laughs> and, and if and if I ever if I ever do get to find out who the you know the the studio is, I will make sure to torture you with the fact that I know and you I can't tell you. But, <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I don't I don't expect to find out that one any earlier than everybody Anyone else. else. <laughs> yeah. And right, be guys. sure that you know to check out the casting site online. It's yeah, the. I think you're public, right? You're not like a closed group. No, yeah, we're public. We're public. We're public. Okay. It's uh, a Wheel, Wheel of Time series, not feature length film. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye.